apologize tonight. Sorry. Good Eve. Good Eve. Hide the lights. There's something going on that I should know about. This isn't as bad as Tang's. Oh, right. <laughs> Mine is more focused. If it goes directly into their eyes, it's liable to blind them for a while. Is it safe out here now? We don't know. No. Um, no, I guess. What happened? Um, Same shit. The lights went out, and I heard very visceral noises. And when I came back, the guard was on the ground dying. Whatever okay, it is, good. I don't Keep want to stay the... outside. Right. Keep the torch on you. Keep the source of fire. <clears throat> stay, uh, stay inside if you can, guys. Yeah. Is this something that I'm able to help with, or something the both of you would easier handle? <sighs> no one can handle this. If we could handle it, we would. Just be safe. Mm -hmm. And get some sleep if you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So something weird happened. Sif mm -hmm. hit her. What? I, her attack connected with something. And then we heard screeching. No way. I don't know. It Yet, was... from behind, I couldn't even shoot her. Strange. It, it was a very lucky shot. Probably like one in twenty or something. But she hit it. It can happen. Maybe we're right then. Was she caught off guard? I, she may have been in the middle of attacking the uh, guard. But We might be right then. I tried to get her when she was attacking you. But she could see you. Yeah. She knew you were there. I see. I see what you're getting at. She can't know. The door. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I'll handle it. Good evening. Come on, you're coming with us. Me? Trans for 100 bucks. Why? Yep. Orders. Not important. Whose orders? Remember, I mean, people are used to hearing shit about Come on. The guard. Alright, let's just help this wall get over and done with quickly. Yes, Cedric. We just have one. All the time. We just make one. It's not our idea. A little important if I got it from you from what happened last night, but you know that works too. Can you let Sarah yeah, know that I'm being arrested? For what? What? Uh, what? what happened? I don't know. I'm innocent, so I'm fine. It'll work out, I'm sure. Uh, okay. What? What? What happened? Just hope they're still in summons so we don't gotta walk all the way up to the keep. Well, Leo has to stay here apparently, so I don't think they're up there. Again, this isn't our idea, it's just orders. Sorry. We have the apprentice. Go bring him okay. in here. Take the axe off him. You want to do that? Well, go ahead. Take the axe off. Uh, free of blood. Alright. Hold on a second. Hold on. I Nathan. cut. Hold on. As you take oh, the axe. Oh, like I can actually do that. Just take that knife real quick. 
Indeed. Oh, so there we go. On the axe. Do you have any other Very weapons dark. on you? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Alright, come on. What the hell? What's wrong? Perfect. Good. Bring this one. Put them against the wall with the other one. We'll get our answers one way or another. What? I don't know. You, you sergeant. Go on, filth. Let's shove Back the axe wall. in your hand. Tell me. Uh. What is that on the... Uh, okay, you want to tell me what's going on? Take Sir? a seat with your friend. No, no, no. I don't this know one what's going on. I have... This one can stand. Stay where you are. Axe. So... Maybe you don't care about yourself. I've heard that you savages up north only care about having some sort of meaningful death because your lives are so fucking pitiful that there is nothing in it of worth. So maybe, maybe there's a bit of companionship in you. Oh, well, we know that you hang around the forge. We'll find the forge master. We find the apprentice. Maybe if we fuck them up enough, your morality or lack thereof will kick in, huh? And you'll admit what you've done. Because now we have an axe. I've already admitted what I've done. From what that you said had nothing on it and there is blood on it. That I've ever seen Disgusting as it is. And what am I supposed to do? Pretend that I believe you? One of my men my, is almost dead? From my perspective, it, right, which you think I'm stupid? It would have been if not for me. That's not entirely true. You have seen a similar substance come out of... <coughs> Corporal. <laughs> Help the woman speak. Smack the drow around a bit. What are you doing in here? What did you do? Doctor. Who was that? You don't give me answers. I saved her from it. Things. And when I assume things, people start dying. What are you doing in here? So, I seriously don't know. You know. I haven't seen this shit before. It. So you're not it. It. Not on... I... It. It, it. And why have, I, I don't know why have they got you here? Say. I don't know where this shit's from. Because that guardsman in that bed got attacked by it. And I saved his life, so they think I attacked him. Batman's blood or fucking not. You know what blood looks like, doctor? Yes, I right. know. Yes, I know what it looks like. This is some sort of blood, but it's not what I've seen before. As much as you beat him around, you will not change my answer because my answer is the truth. Man's blood. What is in it? Uh, it's I'm not. trying to help you. There, what that's all you have to it? fucking say. I was not here for any questioning. It is a monster. That is all I know. Go and have, no, join your friends. Maybe your friend knows, huh? You want to speak? Let him through. Kind of sounded like I know. To join your friend in their insanity? I know about as much as they know. I've been inside all day. Well, all night. Are you gonna stab me, guardsman? No. I just don't like it when someone's lying to me. So what's your problem with I this saw situation? That look she then? gave you. <laughs> you know something. Spit it out. You know what she's told you. That's about it. So you're both insane, huh? What about this one? Who is this? I'm just here to make sure he's okay. I'm just a bystander. I'm being beaten on her behalf. Don't worry about me. Next. I'm a very tired person, so if we could expedite this in any way. Are you giving me tongue? In your no. position? It Officer. seems like your mind's already made up. Really? Okay. I guess you won't mind this then. I have a question Stop for you, guys. If he doesn't know anything. If I was attacking that man, why did I pick him up and bring him here? That doesn't I don't make know. sense. If I wanted to kill him, I would have ran outside sick of town. Now, who knows what a sick mind does? 
that you are still saying that these are animal wounds, even though this person was attacked in the middle of the city and that Bjorning bitch was seen standing over them with an axe. Are you still perpetuating that bullshit? No, I didn't say right now that it was animal wounds by the look of the blood on the axe. I have no fucking clue. Please, what it officer, is. we're innocent, obviously. No, I have no idea what mouth. attacked. Maybe that's a great and idea. I will. The and only I will. reason that I do not cut you from stem to stern is you all. There's no reason for this. This is senseless. Pleading to them is senseless. Innocent. At least it's. it's do you know anything of this? I, I, we know nothing of this. Do you also think there's a beast in the town? Here you go. I wouldn't know of any beast. Pick one for me. Don't care which one. Out of the three. This one. Perfect. He's got a tongue on him. And perhaps we'll get rid of it. They are catching a boat to the guests to tell them that. If you're punishing Down. anyone, then punish me instead. None sure. of us should be punished at all. I don't give a fuck how you feel about me. I have a job to do, and I'm going to do it. It's about setting an example. This savage was seen by multiple people in the center right. street, in the middle of fucking of everything. I will no longer save your godsman's life. With an axe covered in blood. Silence. Over a man attacked by said axe. No, that is pretty unfucking deniable. This Bjorning bitch spends a lot of time at your forge. Talking to you, the forge master, that other dwarf. The guards are out looking for them now. We'll bring them here as well. I will hurt whoever I have to near this woman to make people speak. Now. You can avoid that by convincing her to tell the truth. Otherwise, I cannot guarantee what's going to happen to you. Please stop pointing that at her, officer. O got okay. Yeah. I wasn't there. I didn't see what happened. And giving you a chance to convince your friend to not throw other people's lives away. Fair? Sure. I think sure. Nice. I don't test my patience. Here. I have no problem That's killing all of you. Please, don't aim it at I'll him. make up whatever I have to. Capitano doesn't give a shit. Finish? Let's filth on the streets. If you, with you strike me as filth. Going to Your eyes are shifty. You squirm when you can't move. Well, just to let you know, I was I'm willing to bet some part of you does. In who wasn't supposed to be here. But you have five minutes to convince this woman, and if she doesn't, you're going to be quite upset with me. Obviously. this one nice. Oh, good, surgeon. Sif. Some the uh, fine guardsman has asked me to convince you to tell the truth, so please tell the truth. I have already done so. Okay, my job's done then. You want me to? You want me to tell everything? Do you mind if I talk with my surgeon? Tell the truth of what happened tonight. Do you think they're prepared for that? I already did. They don't believe me. Let's be very clear with one another. I even swore on my honor as a shaman of Clan Dagfin, they backhanded me and said, Don't bring your shit down here with us. That's the biggest promise of truth I can make. And here we are. These things only care about dying gloriously because their lives are so fucking pathetic. But that is all they can hope for. To die in a way that maybe someone will give a shit. So she has no morality. She won't care. But maybe, maybe, applied to her primal understanding of a tribe. If we start to hurt the people around her, maybe she'll tell the truth. Maybe she'll admit to brutalizing a soldier in the middle of the streets in a couple of dark days. As he starts to whisper. good reason so. that guardsmen are threatening me inside this clinic. Why not? I am going to Regardless give you of anything, I may use the whistle here and now. 
team here using Austin just, just to try and get to someone because there was someone that attacked the guardsmen. Uh, really she did to me, the beyonding woman. Until she does. I'm and I don't think it is. But they're, impressed. regardless, using hostages and whatever they could do. Doesn't give a fuck. Less filled with the streets. But you look like a man who certainly might want to make you some going to use every suit because <laughs> that shit don't look like Still a guard who sold her savage. They will come running in. Maybe it is no requisite. You could be their voice. You must be positive. Now, looking around the side, the fact that they threatened to shoot me. Come on. Me. <coughs> I have it faith in you. absolutely necessary. The major <coughs> trusted you. I can't make that decision for Go you. Go speak some sense into that. Why not? <coughs> Last chance. You know <sighs> Follow my lead. Sergeant, you are in charge of this. Soma. I am going to go to the keep and inform that you are going to do this. the powers that be. Tell the Capitano. No one comes in or out. Lady Sif, is everything you told them the truth? Yes. Okay. Make sure there's a guard at the door. Sharik? <laughs> everything that was said the truth? I wasn't there. <laughs> Me neither. But unfortunately, Lady Sif, <laughs> any words we give them... They're not going to believe. matter unless I it's... Know that. Unless it's the words they want to hear, is the unfortunate bit. Yes, they want to hear so, that I attacked that man. Well, I didn't. Right. So unfortunately... Is that what you want to hear? Someone Mr. who's Shreek. trying to help your people say, Oh, I tried Within to kill the next him five minutes, in the middle of the street. If they don't <sighs> tell them the, the quote, truth that they want to hear. Well, I'm not letting you, so I'm going to die in the next five minutes. You're not. I am, because I would elect out of us two. As much as neither of us want this, if that's the only choice, well... I can't ask that of you. You don't have to ask. You don't die for a lie. No one dies on my behalf but me. No one else is going to die here. You should Especially what choice do we have, Soma? You should what tell the gods that. Tell the gods that. Oh, fuck. I want you to listen to me and listen closely. From the shit that's been pulled here, this has been going on for long enough. Especially during these circumstances here. Within my jurisdiction, especially with this happening at an Imperial clinic, I don't think that within these standards that this should go up for any longer. Hey, doctor. By the... <laughs> oh by my the God. order don't you of the Imperial Embassy, I will be threatened in my own fucking clinic! This by doesn't the order of the Imperial Embassy, you don't want to leave! We need to do oh, something, or we're going to die. Through your chest, and we'll see who saves your fucking life. My hands are tied. You you are a surgeon. You have no Mine are too. You are going to yeah, unfortunate. Stop interfering in guard business. Uh, say something. Yeah. I beg you, say something. Is it crazy I want some PRLs to help us right now? They're trying. The matter. Take as you look to him, I want it to show up and rend them twice. limb Take from it. limb. What the fuck is that? What is that? And I won't be able to help this time. Was that a whistle? That was whistling. No, I was just drawing the crossbow and I'm like, what the fuck is that? You just aimed at him, okay. Yeah. Okay. Just aimed at him. You said no one did or did you not hear that? What? Did you hear a whistle? Yeah, I thought I heard a whistle. Guardsmen! Oh, God. 
bringing you all up on charges for this. What? What does that mean? You um, just stay put. We're protected. You aren't in the fucking bottle. You and the rest of you are mad fucking word, doctor! One more! Don't kill him, please! If you shoot you shoot so many times, so times as a crossbow doesn't do. even matter. Hey, Sergeant, aren't you in charge of this situation? You going to stop them? Please don't cut him! On your watch, you're going to kill the cat, the town doctor. And attack an Imperial? On Imperial ground? Should get a handle on this. That's an insight for war. Oh, fuck. This is bad. You, you have to have them stand down, please. Guardsman, this is gonna be so much worse. Is there war I know your with orders. This? I know your orders, but please. Your men will die. I may not be but I will not allow this to continue. God, no, this is bad. And look at that. And look at that! It's gonna be a fucking slaughter! Fucked with us for the last time! Taking coin from other people like a fucking monster! What is this? I am well within my right to strike him down! Oh no! I will do no such thing! I will not be threatened in my own Soma! On the order of the guard of them, this is Imperial territory. Clear? We have every single right. What do I do? We should take I cover of some kind. This is your one order. Shoot them down until we'll engage. You are the one that'll do as he says. I'm caught. I'm fine. If they come to swing at us, I'm taking the first hit. If I turn, run. That's not actually there. Oh, okay, never mind. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, if I can at least get in front of me. Over <laughs> there. Mm, to the wall, everyone. Wow, you've done that before. Yeah, unfortunately. No, I've never been so grateful to see red. We're innocents. You stay here with your eyes on these men. Do not rise to the rifles at the ready. They oh, struck him multiple times and threatened to shoot me. Oh, God. There's one on the bed in here. That one is injured. He cannot be moved. I will be reporting to the Baron M.M. What are you three doing here? They thought we attacked the guard on that bed there when questioned. I saved his life. We're innocent, but... Please don't kill them. I understand. I'm the only reason this is happening. If anyone you should question, it's me. Why is these three back here? These three were back there as taken hostage by these monsters. To trying to figure out who attacked this one and trying to use the people of the townsfolk to get answers. Do you have sufficient evidence that the person back here is guilty? She he wasn't the real no business for the person that just got the guard wide open. Your business then is not be... imperial. Hmm, I see. <laughs> then if that is the case, I don't have any prisoners here in this clinic. So I guess they can all go free. Unlock their shackles at the map. <sighs> yes, sir. Are you three all right? Yeah, I'm a little worried about that one yes, guy that got away please, there earlier. Please, since this no is all his death. idea. But, yeah. Which guy? Some punches. Uh, I don't know his rank. But he had a beard. Chains a red beard. 
Uh, you know the one I'm talking about. So. The one who tried Someone to interrogate you. I believe I overheard him say that he was going to leave and bring back more men to deal Perhaps with this situation. It's on, it's on the, it's on the, it's on the guardsman, Corporal. Yeah. And any more it's on the guardsman. Which one? The one in charge, more, li more than likely. The one in charge. He's got the key for it. For it. Then get the key. Mm. You're right, Gabe. Probably on that one in charge, yeah. There's nothing I can do about this Soldan you are speaking of. The only reason we could do this is you have no right to come this to clinic me. is Imperial territory. Mind your guns, mind your guns. We will get you out. I would advise you to sequester yourselves away. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Gunnery Sergeant. Well, this is Shaman from Clan Dagfin. By a, a surgeon, yes. I'm in your favor. It we're fine, thank you. But please don't there kill them. My name is Gunnery Sergeant Otto Kosh. Artillery officer. Sif, Otto Kosh. Uh, I'd shake thank your you. hand, but. We'll fix that momentarily. Yes, thank you. But please don't shoot them. It's my only request. You will forgive me. Thank you. That is Thank my you. choice. Of course. <laughs> Can my only request be that they get shot? The, the one no, in charge. Head, the I wish for that too, man. <laughs> Two against one. Right. Sir. It's not our choice. Thumbs up. Forgive me, sir, but the one in charge. Sorry. Is the, one, the one who stopped so much. <sighs> Thank you. Right, I have the, the keys for one? two of you, but I don't have the, the keys the front, for the Bionni. The Fuck. Hey, <sighs> Gamma. Uh, okay, okay. Sarik, if you wanna, if you wanna have oh. hearing, hold plug ears. What? It, they might shoot the man. What? Are there shackles undone? What I only have the key for shackles. these two. I don't Period. have the key for the Bionni. Blame <sighs> the man in the middle of town. Apparently the man who chained that one left. You make a single move with your weapon, I will shoot you. You're the only one who can break chains. I'm an apprentice smith. I could have a go at it. To be moving quick with that weapon. Oh, you can that borrow my hammer. Okay. Yeah. Gonna say, what you Come on, Sif. Right, let's go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Should I escort them, sir? I wonder Thank what you, Sergeant. Yeah. Gunnery Sergeant. Fancy fucking weapon, though. Yeah. I wonder what they said then. Yeah. Um. Do I see my dagger here that they took? It's a plus two. It's two. Uh, okay, with eleven plus two for thirteen, you'll be able to get the cuffs off. Except your dagger. Yes, it would have just been thrown onto the counter as you were dragged in. Is my axe around? Or does Selma have that? I've got it, don't worry. It's likely. There it is, yeah. Oh, he has. Oh, good. Thank you. <sighs> Alright. We will give you your weapons back when we arrive. Right. This isn't gonna be fun. I still oh, have a good. broken I was arm. Worried if something that happened to you. No, it's not gonna be. That was a lot. Fucking. God. What happened? Uh, I'll see your eyes are closed. Don't get back. Keep moving. I'll tell you this one. Come on, Sif. <sighs> Fucking. Where are you going? Right behind you. Just keep going. Getting these shackles off, Sif. They didn't have the key. Free your Bjorn in front here. I can, uh, I can help you if you need it. Imagine it was a lot. Someone, then running away. Fucking bastard. So the guardsmen... They were, they were questioning about an attack. Obviously none of us would have done that. But you know the guards, they just want something to pin it on. So yeah. they chose us. No pursuit of justice. No pursuit of justice. So if we didn't tell them, one of us would die. Yeah. So, upon a whistle being blown, the Imperials, well, defended their place. <sighs> Why don't you guys uh, go calm the other people? I'll handle this with Sif. A... Uh, right. <laughs> Just leave it on the table. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> There's blood on this. His face is bloodied and bruised. <sighs> Did they use this axe on you? No. That's the one I used to defend the gutsmen. What is it? Then... Whose blood... Broken arm still. Excuse me, I have a job to do. If you mean what's going on, it's the yeah. guardsmen. I need to no. stick around here just in case any guards are trying to me. start anything. You should probably make but sure those people aren't know. causing anything over there. They look like they're getting rowdy. This town will burn. I'll be I okay here. I promise it. If push comes to shove, we can, you can save run inside. They'll kill you, and then you'll be nothing. Besides. I know what that one can do. Don't let this shitty place drag you down. You're so much more than that. <sighs> can we break these cuffs, please? Yeah, I've been waiting. And they just open. Do you need a place to stay for the night? I don't think leaving town is safe, so I might. I have a bed. It might um, not fit you very well, but it's soft. I don't even need a bed, just a place. Here's my key. Excuse me, Sif. It's right across the street from the bathhouse. Yeah. Just let yourself in this uh, snacks, not. Not too much to eat, but there's water. Can I have those shackles? If I they're not broken? Just busted the shit out of them. <laughs> That's fine. Well, I'm glad no one had to die. Make yourself at home. Thanks for not lying, just to save those, by the way. Yeah, seriously. I wouldn't lie. But I can't let you take my place in guilt. Never thought I'd say this, but thank God for the Imperials. Seriously. Never thought I'd say that too. What the hell? Never been more happy that? to see gold plate in my life. Soma blew a whistle and they all came running. <sighs> Amazing. Hmm. Noted. Mm. Scary. I have a debt to pay with them, though. They may not be alive. So good people. I mean the Imperials. Oh, right. Yeah. My debt to pay to those guardsmen is to return them to the shackles they put me in. I need to sit down. Fucking I'm exhausted. almost passing out. We shouldn't be out here. Yeah. You can head home. I'm gonna clean up and rest. You're fine being by yourself? Yeah. Those so, are. So. Yeah. I I'm sorry I dragged you into this. You didn't drag me into shit. Wrong I sort of wrong time. Happens all the time for people like us. I was just in my house. So easily blamed. I wasn't even outside. They came and just got me. Yep. It's because we were seen there. I wasn't even there. I know. That's why I was a little spicy. No, they, they got me because they've seen us hang around a little bit and they were using me as leverage. Makes sense. Yes. Since your boss now. You're all right. Yeah. We're both fine. He's a little beat up, but not the first time we've been beat be by a guard. Day's rest. Don't know about tomorrow. Come in here. Everything's fine. Speak. All right. All right, Sif. So you can come along, or you can. Uh, I'm going to speak as well. You come on, Cass. This is about what happened. Thank I guess you. I should go too. 
kind of a small building. Uh, you'd be surprised it, how though? big it is. It's anywhere, really. Do you have a rag or something? I need to clean this blood up. Fucking clown car. I have a couple chairs here. I've never done something like that before. Full kitchenette, too. I'll explain in a moment once everyone's settled down and calmed down. However, I feel that tomorrow might be worse. Given the circumstance right. that one of the circumstances. Seems like Soma's got a dog whistle. <coughs> Literally. What does no. that even mean? <sighs> I'll explain here. Right. To start this off, there was a sort of well, my own net on my own end. Keeping it short and sweet, I apparently owed 42 silver for, to a nobleman for letting one of his gladiators die. Either he brought him in too long or too late, whichever, but that's not it. From the encounters that has been had because of me not paying for this silver, this wasn't just the first incident. When I was with Basil, they threatened to kill her in order for, for me not to pay it. They almost drowned me twice, not three. This was the latest incident that happened. Apparently, and since, well, it's been going on, there was a guardsman that was attacked. Five straight claw marks right through his chest, right through his plate. What do you mean claw marks? You know exactly what it is, um, Arnold. Is that what happened? Yes. And as soon as that happens, I swung what it I heard, in the darkness. And I don't believe I recognize that name. Sorry, Tizzy. You must be mistaken. <clears throat> Say again about the axe. I got a connecting hit with whatever the thing was attacking him. There was this horrifying screech, and it left. I picked the guardsman up and ran to the clinic, and they thought I attacked him. Victim of circumstance, then. And they assumed, and no matter what, to think it was her. They even gave the axe to me to try and pinpoint it, but I tried to say no, even do with the with the information that we all know. One second. Ow. From that given point on, they tried to do something Sorry. damn monstrous. They grabbed both Marcus and you. To try and make us speak and tried to beat the shit out of the both of you for it. They were going to kill us and me as if well. they didn't take ownership of them. At that point, I was planning something small but big with the surgeon Ludwig of mine. Because of this nobleman problem that I had along with the guardsmen, because I worked at, at an Imperial clinic, no, this does not mean that I actually work with the Imperials, it's just... I'm trying to be careful. They took me up to the embassy. And I had something that was given to me. A whistle of the sorts that would call a lot of the forces of those Imperials. At that moment, I for the first time tried to make a stand. And as I did, they were threatening to kill Ludwig and then were hurting me. I then took that chance and blew the whistle. That's where all the Imperials came from. And now... I didn't want to have to do that. I really didn't. But they left me, nor anyone else, no choice. They were going to try and kill the both of you in order to try and get answers from her. And now, there's probably something big going to happen tomorrow. With the Rad Arms, the Gods, and maybe the Imperials. You didn't just call the Imperials somewhere. You called upon Gunnery Sergeant Otto Kors. That's something. <sighs> well, what the hell was I supposed to do? Let you two no, be no, fucking I'm beaten not, to shit? I'm not, I'm not saying what you did was wrong, Soma. I actually thank you. Yes, I did. No, do you have any idea what you might have done? But... Do you have any idea what you might have just done? 
You might have By calling these Imperials into the town, into conflict with the Redoubt soldiers, making it a political conflict where they had Redoubt men at gunpoint. Do you have any idea what you might have done? Did it look like that I have a choice? There's always a choice. Every a single choice. day, we've dealt with this before. We've dealt with this before. We've dealt with this before. We've dealt with corrupt guards before. We've done this song and dance. You're going to call upon the fucking Imperium? Soma, if I knew what was at stake, I would have died there to make sure it wouldn't happen. Gladly, I would have. I didn't know that. But did it look like I have a fucking choice? Yes. Because if I wasn't going to do that, they would eventually you, come for me. a choice. I don't blame you, Summer. No, I can't it's blame Summer for all this. Do you understand? I tried. How that's going to make things so much more dangerous. He's that it could start an political. investigation. He's not a noble. He's not a... He's just a surgeon. He doesn't know. Are you an idiot? You're supposed to be one of the smartest people I know. The guards, as foolish as they were, were cunning enough to start grabbing people that they saw close to that woman. Now imagine if they took interest in some of those people. In Marcus. In Sharik. Imagine if they start looking into it. The Capitano knows who's from Maryland and who isn't! I didn't say it was a smart idea, Arn. I said I don't blame him. He's the man who blew the fucking whistle. For the people you who know what they're capable of. Him. It's good intentions, but it can have a horrible outcome, is the problem. The horrible outcome is it might start an investigation that might get us all killed. They were probably going to kill us no matter what! You don't know that, and now we never will, will we? What we do know is that the Imperium just put its own power in front of the Radard family on their land. You have no idea what kind of conflict may come in the morning. I spoke with Morda. The other day, there was already conflict between the Baron Kovaz and that gunnery sergeant. Morden himself is able to confirm that the granary sergeant had a signal ready to bombard the fucking port with all of those ships if it came to blows between him and Kovaz's men. But he didn't know that. <sighs> he doesn't know. The point the is what they're capable of, not what anyone knows. You have been through enough to know that that was a bad idea. And do not tell me you don't. And so do you, and every last one of you in this room. Let's focus on what we can control right now. Is there There's anything... nothing we can control right now. That's the problem. We won't know do what's going to happen hands. until the brothers decide who's going to conflict with who. Do we leave? Do we stay? Even if we try do to we hide? Where we would go. Maybe back back into into so many other the cities. We go to the capital. There. I was the one that did the action. Perhaps I can take the blame. It's past that. Not that I would no offense, that to you but anyway. that's what was that should have happened first. Not saying that you made any mistakes, but that would have been our best case scenario. We could have done the same thing that Morden did before and appealed directly, using him as a noble, to the other nobles to release them, or to gone your release or buy your release or whatever it may be. Should have just waited. Zim. Sanders was coming in there. He was going to help. <sighs> what? We had five minutes until he was going to kill one of us. I looked in his eyes and I Do saw you him. Believe do that? It. Yes. I don't think that that man would be dumb enough tactic. to kill somebody on imperial ground. Right. For the amount of times that they've been beating us to shit every single fucking day. Has it been on Imperial territory? Even Tordy. <laughs> they did tell Soma that it wasn't Imperial territory. They will tell you whatever they want to to make you comply. They're fucking dirty. 
All of them. They're manipulative. They're, They're not honorable men. They came around robbing us, calling it for protection. We know the caliber of these people. Exactly. That Capitano, better than the bandits on the streets. If that Capitano, who can identify each and every last one of us, decides someone needs to take the fall, you know where he's going to turn. You know that very well. He's made it very clear. I do not know what we can do to rectify this. All we can do is wait and see what the political ramifications are. What if there was more if this pushes, target? If this pushes a man to decide that he needs to take control, if the soldiers really are in Kovez's pocket, then we could wake up tomorrow and the guard is replaced by the Imperial. Is that such a bad thing? <laughs> they would put you to the stake just because of what you are. They wouldn't execute After you. After they're done using you. Or they, burn or you, they alive. torture you first or make you a slave. How does that they make fear anything that is not human. These gods are cowards and not fanatical. And these gods haven't downed our loved ones. And ran us out of our home. Look, Sif. A lot of us have dealt with them before and I'm not going to get into it. Almost everyone in this room has lost someone to them. That's why we're still on edge. And they have guns, mind you. I'm not sure if you've come into contact with anything like that. But it's not different than a crossbow. You see this? If they start looking into me, I'm dead. Do you see my arm? Treat me like a child. I'm not treating you like a child. I'm treating you like someone who doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Which you are. Do you see my arm? I almost lost it. From one shot. And it wasn't even close. He was far away. My arms are everything to me. Why is that name familiar? What name? Huh? Otto Korsh. Gunnery Sergeant Otto Korsh. I heard a clue. Not familiar. Mm. Pretty sure he was in... Amem controls the guards and the Imperials are trying to appease Amem. Depends on what a man wants to do with this. Our only hope is that Kovaz will block whatever it is he tries to do and maintain the balance of power. Kovaz is very anti imperial, we know that. He won't let it happen quietly. Then perhaps. Perhaps we can appeal to Kovaz then. Here I am, looking like a fucking the fool. That the guards are up to all of the time. Custody could be someone we talk to. I don't know who the custody <laughs> is. Oh, okay, the, who the fuck are the you? Door, please, behind you. He's a friend. Cyrus, Cyrus Stillwater. Oh fuck! I didn't uh, notice him, recognize him without all of his uh, armor on. Nice little private chat. Is all Cyrus. <laughs> Absolutely. Summer, don't start throwing a pity party. Now you know. Now you know what you're capable of. And now you know not to just use it the first time you feel like you're in danger. Alright? We learn from this. I imagine you want to head to sleep, Paul. You can stick around. And regardless of the outcome, we stick together, right? Hi. Great. I presume the, the custodian is like the warden of this area. What do we know the about him? <laughs> he's good. He's he's just. Um, he was the one that uh, I think he saved my life uh, back when the guards were beating the shit out of me. Why? Um, I they, I was an easy target to blame, and then uh, when I was. I, I did their orders and stuff, and then there was a complication, so they just decided to take it out all on me. Uh, Custode saw that it was not just, it wasn't fair. 
Hmm. Is that the only reason they get to the end? Like two hits. We don't know how much influence the custodian has. They, he threatened the, the, the one of the... Uh, I don't know what the ranking was of the guard, but like there was a guard that was ordering all the others around there. If he had enough influence by himself Apparently to clean whatever. up the guards, he would have by now. So maybe there's something blocking him. We could fix that. He's correct. And I think the thing that's blocking him is this Capitano. But then it goes up further than that because we've gotten intel that the Capitano was placed by um, a mem. mem. So the Capitano is directly a mem's man. Which means the guard itself follows the so Capitano. Even if we remove the Capitano, a mem's just going to replace him with another. Or Kovacs that is not an option unless... for any of these people. If we kill any oh. of these heads, they are just going to be replaced with another mouthpiece. Like we can at least make them look so bad that Kovacs removes them himself. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> By humiliation, they are removed. That could work. Either humiliate him or make it look like he's disobeyed Kovacs. orders. Or he's an easy target. Or a terrible debacle of military order, something he's involved in. It's a risk, but we can't do anything directly. Trying to kill them is foolish. Involved in what? The Capitano. If you would, Sharik and I... Well... I know how to get rumors out. We can handle Kovas. What do you mean by handle? Oh god. Manipulate. Thank you. Use. Get information. Get what we want. What do you mean? Problem is, it's not so much the look, it's getting that information that makes them look that way in front of the right person. Because the rest of the guard probably think went about bad it. an eye. Kovaz. It's got to be in front of Kovaz. We can get to Kovaz easy. Mm. If, if Kovaz is meant to think that the idea is his own, like any noble... Thank you, Cyrus. And he acts on something that he thinks will either make him look good, or if he really believes in the issue at hand, if he thinks he's doing what he believes is right, then he'll act on it himself. If we could pin this whole debacle on Even him. Even if it's something as... We could say, under his lapse of leadership, this whole Imperial versus Guards thing's popped up. Bring it up to Kovacs if he doesn't already know. We wouldn't, we wouldn't need That's to finish the proof. And when I, when I say put it in front of Kovacs, I don't mean any of us speak to him. No. It's got to be a, a document or something that just happens to appear somewhere where he will be. I can get to wherever he needs to be. We just need the document. I think I'm aware of something that might have actually assist the situation. What? Earlier today, I heard a group of people actually trying to start something like what happened tonight. There was already a group that was already going to attempt to make this happen. Not tonight, but later. It wasn't with the guards and a random murder. It was with one of the Imperial ships. What are you talking about? I found work. And where this work was, there was a few others. I don't know if they were mercenaries, I don't know if they were slaves, they were people. Talking amongst each other, saying that Someone had a plan to take care of the Radad family and the Imperium. Huh. That's a bold statement. They were going to sabotage one of the Imperial ships, blame it on the Radad family as a whole, so that they would tear each other apart and leave Nodis in ruins. Who gains from that? Why? Well, I don't like the last part, but the first two parts are interesting. Who gains from that? A third party He's already gaming from Nautis being so <sighs> elves maybe minimally powered as it is. Robber Baron maybe like the Robber Baron. That place mm. Called? Mm. That is this the Robber the... Baron I've been hearing about? Possibly. He's a criminal. 
Maybe. He seems a bit more small than just an average criminal. They said Does something about him in some way. That's not good. If they took down the if Rizal you can family, even fucking they would have find the control him. that they used to. Hmm. This is they may be using the Imperials as a weapon against them. It's definitely an onion. <coughs> we can't afford to if spend all of our resources on this because the orcs are encroaching. No way, actually. They keep Wait, the Imperials busy. I'm just, this is if this is already something that's going in place, mm -hmm. then it would it wouldn't be hard to believe if something of that plan was to be known to Kovas. You mean, wait, I see what you're saying. Evidence, some sort of written evidence that this is going to take place and then we allow it to take place. Precisely. If it's already on his desk and he's read about tonight, it. I believe they may be moving up their schedule. My only worry about that is what if what they do is catastrophic? That's the only reason why I was trying to ruminate on this information. But given what had happened tonight, I'm afraid that they might actually use what had happened to make it make their plan go to fruition sooner. The only but people that would want to escalate this. What if there's another idea there? Why not see if they can be redirected at that group that they caused this incident? They would still need proof. It, then it'd pin me with that group. <sighs> well, they They're not going to take the with... testimonial of a bunch of peasants. If I have to be pinned on this group, that's fine. I can stay out of town. I don't think that's a solution. If, if it's the one we have to go with, then it's well, There's okay gotta be a me. clever way to go about it. Surely. But actually, that, that would aid my testimony, because I said I was defending the guardsmen. Wait. That guardsman, are they able to speak? Do they see it themselves? They could testify. I didn't see anything there, but he could testify that I aided him, that I wasn't the one to attack him. Hmm. But will he? Is he still alive? <laughs> yes, he's alive. I made sure of that, and so did Soma. They must have taken him back to the castle, then. They did. Did they? You Ian should. Ludwig made sure to inform that to inform them that their own men were to take him back to the castle. Well, they'd be able to clear. I made sure that he was still alive. Hopefully, unless they're getting paid to not do that. But there's no reason not to do that. So I don't know. The southern politics baffle my brain. <laughs> yes, of course. Politics baffle everyone. But at the moment, it's just about trying to make sure that people are going to remain alive and everything won't be put into ruins. Was well, there something actionable oh, we can off. do? Unfortunately, this is one of those parts of conflict where you have to sit and wait. There's nothing we can do yet. Hmm. We need okay. to find out what the Radon family does in reaction to this. Until the course of action opens itself to us. Our hands are tied and all we can do is wait. Okay. So Look for an opportunity. Fucking waiting. I'll put some feelers out and see if we can see things before they actually happen. There's a little warning. Get in the fucking hole, you whore. Think. Well, you were asking, uh, Tazim, what do we know? Right. We know that all of the gods are in the pocket of Baron Amem. Hmm. Baron Amem Even is on we... the side of the Imperials. <laughs> it is a strange conflict to portray. He'd want to play it, it adds down. to his credence of needing. Oh, I don't think he'd want to play it down. It adds to his credence of wanting to secure the province with Imperial soldiers. Right. He might even cite his own soldiers' lack of ability. 
Not only that, but we can't tell them what actually happened because they won't believe us anyway. Hmm. None of them will, as per usual. He might even go so far as to blame it on his late father. But no blame of it to himself. The lapidation of his military. If a man like believes this... the soldiers that are under his control, then wouldn't that only show the Imperium that he is inept? That he wouldn't be able to do anything? Especially since it's known that he was the one who put the Capitan in. It's a very thin line to walk. What the Baron of Mem seems to be trying to do is to make it clear that he is justified in his decision to bring in the Imperium for added security, guidance, manpower, and supplies. <clears throat> you cannot have a stable province and a competent local military and say that that's something that you need with beyond reasonable doubt. Mm. The Baron Kovez is staunchly against the Imperium, is working with the Elves, and wants to, in his own words, expel the Imperials by any means necessary. Which puts a small fear in the back of my head, wondering if any of this conflict that's been stirred up has been his doing. But I don't see why it would be, because that would strengthen his brother's position. How are you so wise in all of this? I just work in castle courtyards and listen to loud mouths talk all day. <laughs> Fair enough. You'd be amazing what you hear when you're just working on metal and two know-it-alls sit and play chess next to you and talk. Even so. Kovas works with the elves. Doesn't have any men in the guard, or so he says. Is more concerned about his mother's approval, the Baroness, than any sort of action on his own, and openly disdains his brother's attempts to grab power. only really uh, action that I see here is trying to appeal to Kovaz without him knowing who's appealing to him because if he knows and they can ask questions that could be disastrous light bulb what tank what what's a light bulb what? flame just flickered in my head shut up what if <laughs> what if I seduce him in the bathhouse and I complain about the atrocities that the guard are doing against my people. More than once. It can be traced back to us that way. I have seen it firsthand. But he does have a thing for you. Mm. Does that uh, go against the whole not being able to trace it back thing? Politics. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that girl that works at the bathhouse is not me. However... No. What you might be able to do. From what you had said before, he likes to vent his frustrations and complain in the bathhouse. Maybe tomorrow you make sure that you're there. And we'll know what his stance is on what happened. If we don't wake up with Imperial soldiers standing at the street corners. I'm hoping that's not the case. I like to think that I'm right with you, Shariq. Hmm. We'll add a few more layers to it, but the gist of it, yes. I don't think Amem is going to be too pleased about this either, though. No, he's going to be fucking furious. Hmm. Fuck, I wish I had more iron. I need to start making weapons. So we can at least defend ourselves. Do you think it's safe to, or at least worth the risk to talk to the people at the Iron Quarry? I think <laughs> they know I live at the log camp. The Carter's liaison said, and I quote... Oh. Going over there is suicide. Yeah, but they're the Carter's Guild, they're not me. <laughs> she is also a North woman. You've danced with death She may not be a Bjorning, safe. but... If a North woman looks me in the I eyes and tells me that walking towards something's going to kill me, I usually listen to them, since where they live is so... You can also tell someone who went... went with... Tang and two others to fight a cave troll, which was incredibly stupid. 
still don't know why you did that. So if we do not doubt your strength and capability, but those men are armed down there. We saw it. Sif. Well, they don't. If I can at least start barracks, making relations. That's exactly who they are. They are. Ferocious mercenaries and bandits. What will happen to you? Because it almost happened to Sharik and I. They tried to take us with them, enslave us to work at the mines. They were trying to do the same. What you. happened? You'd get into the mines, all right, but you wouldn't be coming out. I did. They wear full plate as well. You're a. You're a fucking warforged. What are they going to do to you? <laughs> exactly. Exactly what? I see what he's getting at. I already have access into what they have. This they are. whole thing is That's to get so more to iron. From them, then. That's where I heard the plan about them sabotaging an imperial vessel. <laughs> This, this whole Wait, so that's the robber baron's men that was talking about that? That's kind of a big detail. Oh gosh. I would think yeah. they would. I... There were slaves, mercenaries, and random people inside of that camp. So the I robber baron's robber men... Who is just being chained. ...are planning to throw Nautis into ruin by pinning all of the brothers against each other. If they go against each other, he'd be able to march in with what he has and save the day, and whoever remains is beholden to him. Son of a bitch. Right. This is going downhill very Probably fucking fast. Back, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Remember when I said powder keg? Political shit puts everything yeah. in ruin. Be politics, <sighs> Mr. Someone. Yes. At least they didn't break your nose. It sort of goes against mm. being traced back, but I'm on good terms with the major. At the. What do you call that thing? Keep it all staying at. Embassy. I can forewarn the, him. In embassy? Let him take care of it. He can inform. Forewarn him. He can forewarn a mem. And then it's only the Major who knows that I knew. Yes, but if a mem's the problem. Hmm. But the robber baron's the problem, is it not? He's the one trying to pitch everyone against each other. Two different we don't know a mem's motives, I don't think. Right. The, the first issue is the Imperial soldiers coming onto Guardian soil and enforcing their will. Even so much as escorting soldiers back to the keep with their weapons taken from them. The second issue is that Tang heard from the robber baron's men that someone is planning to destroy or damage one of the Imperial ships in what, blame it on the Radads? So there's a third party involved. So that the Baron would be able to go in and rescue everyone. Right. I honestly believe that it is him. So these idiots are tearing themselves man. apart. Not and the, the Robber Baron's trying to capitalize on it. The Baron, when we should, when we mean the Robber Baron, let's say Robber Baron. Because Baron is confusing. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> So, what we need to do is pin this on the robber baron, so that way Emem and Kovas unite. I wish I was so sick. That's way too much family baggage. His brothers have no wish to unite. Um, let me put it this way. Unless you give them a reason to. It's like two brothers. Of the same blood fighting over who will be y'all. Okay. Neither one of them wishing to give ground to the other. It'll come to blows eventually. And knots in the that way that not you do not, can not a square. They'll do it in a dishonorable fashion. Hmm. Like killing people around hmm. the person that they want to beat, if you will. Hmm. So... The robber baron plans to swoop in and save the day after the, everything's pitched into chaos. So it would seem. I fail to, I fail to see. To gain control the, again. I understand that. I fail to see the problem with telling Tobman this and in forewarning. <laughs> because if they know that there's an outside presence involved, they're not going to be so quick to jump down Kovaz's throat. A mem could use that what I'm hesitant about. to bring in more Imperials just in case. There it is. Mm. 
Those ships don't make any fucking sense. They brought supplies. The supplies were on the small ship. Those others are reported to have a bunch of men on them. For what? Hundreds. 800 mm. apiece, apparently. Maybe yeah, a show of four. Fucking hundred. And a lot of a guns. Piece. So 1,600 in total. Well, two galleons, that's, that's prepped that's for a, a conflict. If they're full. Yeah. That's a fucking vanguard. That is more than enough men to lock down the province if they had to. Which is what I think a mem's trying to push to do. I feel sick. And I completely believe that if his mother does not agree to it, he's going to try and appeal to the council. And the only reason why I think that might work is because if what Vezrin said is true, we know that there are three of these embassies in total. We don't even know if there's more by now, or there are talks oh, about gosh. having more, whatever it may be. Was it two in the west, one in the east, or the singular one in the east? Right. Hmm. What is the point of that? Just give the they were trading already. The... Probably they were trading capital. for two decades, three decades. Why do they need embassies? You put an embassy in a place that you're trying to demilitarize, or you're trying to stabilize, or it is a, a country that cannot support itself, and your influence is there to, to, to change the, the sway of things, or install somebody in power to support a different regime, and all this other shit. <clears throat> mm. This is an established country. Why are there embassies? If one argues, well, it's for diplomacy, well, why don't you just have one in the fucking capital where the council is? You don't Car see Carlos, dwarven embassies yeah. all over the fucking place. There's, There's only, only one, one. The Thakarlik. And that's it. Mm. They're like a fucking parasite. I to bring it back up. Don't I fucking say it. I refuse <clears throat> to believe that. It could be the river. Oh, I want to know the you secret. You brought that up the other time we were talking about this. I don't know why, though. If they station their ships at the front of this river, they control the entire river all the way up to north. Uh, mm. Arg Madrod. The deep flow straight mm. is that large channel next to the castle. The deep flow straight goes all the way north, cutting mm. to the left of the Vernfalder Mountains, straight into a Murgadrod. It goes all the way up. It cuts through the Unbidden Bog. Wait, the Unbidden mm. Bog? There. There's north of Katsuva Forest. Yeah. Um. And? Uh, ruins that I suspect are linked to things that we've dealt with in the past. Up in the, the Unbidden Bog. I had an adventure oh, come down from there. There's a problem with that, though, because you have the bridge in the way. So. This might become a foothold for them to stage an assault on the bridge. Does the bridge not lower and close? I've never been there. I wouldn't know. A bridge would like be Pernod nothing to them, seen... if anything. What we well, did have over when I got here for the first time. I just don't yeah. remember if it lifted or not. I can't remember They make either. most of their money over there by um, extorting a toll on the bridge. I don't know if it I forget how tall that bridge is. Well, shit, if they have a toll on the bridge, that means they can stop people from crossing it. Probably mm. safe to assume it could raise them. Probably on both sides. Probably. <clears throat> Which means they could toll up and down it too for large enough ships. But why? What's the fucking point? That makes no sense. The only thing north is Belshoi, <coughs> which is a mostly non-human town. And the, what, what is it called? Bone Wash Shore or something? I don't know. And then the Unbidden Bog and Vernfalda Mountains. Whatever's past that, I have no fucking clue. Well, the like Vezrin was saying, it's something they know and we don't. Ruins. We know how that went before with ruins. Hmm. If they're apparently full of beasts, beasts that can kill orcs. So, who knows? Maybe that's completely unrelated. I have nothing. Hmm. I have nothing. No. This is far more than what it should have been. We'll get some more info from Kovez, see what pops up. That's all we can really do for right now. 
Right. What are our next action steps to do in the meantime? Be ready to flee by morning if necessary. Pack bags, mm. pack, pack them light. Worst oh, comes to worst, we may not be able to leave the province, but we can hide in the nearby wood. I know this right. land pretty well. I'll find a place for us. I'll scour it's the map necessary. tonight and pick somewhere. If, you're going... if it comes down to that, and something happens in the middle of the night, we're going to want to avoid the towns. We'll meet at the Cross Key and, and then spread out from there. Small window, about 30 minutes. Mm. Right. If you're not okay. there in that span of 30 minutes, the group is leaving without you. But hopefully there is one thing, that. though. Right. Because if only you all, you all are in danger, Morty could probably pull some strings so that you're not actually, like, completely cast out of the town. Just draw suspicion to I us. I love Morden to death. He is my full he respect. a lot of eyes, yeah. But he's very far away from Vuen Falder and very far away from the Thekarlag Embassy. Ah. And even if they were going to send someone here, it would take at least two days at a full march. The time we don't have if that happens. He's able to play the game of nobility, which is good. I've already seen it save people's asses. But that's not something you can do every time and forever. <clears throat> What's the name of that small town that we found the guy in who's suspected to be Grimshaw? Then we can in the internum. We have things packed in case we need to flee by morning. If that yeah. does not have to happen, we go ahead with finding out what Kovaz knows. You put your feelers out to see if a mem's doing anything. You have to have that meeting with a mem sooner rather than later. This thing about the robber baron. Mm. Right. Do you have what you need? Mm. It's been a while since I've asked. <sighs> I need to refresh my memory on everything that's going on there, but to my knowledge, can... all I need to do is introduce i we'll have to do is introduce Sawtooth to uh, a man at this point. Right. I don't know what that's going to do, but if you think it's the right course of action, then so be it. Right now, the way it stands is if any of these brothers gain power over the other, I think it will come to violence. If we can do little things to keep the power of balance even enough, where each one isn't sure if they made a move, they'd have the upper hand. We'll buy ourselves time indefinitely. In that case, it may be advantageous simply to tell um, the Major about this plan of the robber barons. That's the main reason he wants me to get in touch with the robber baron, is to find out his motives, see if he's someone who can be reasoned with. If he knows that mm. he just wants to destabilize Nautis, then I think that takes that off the table completely. And I'm I gonna wouldn't ask the paranoid him. question. What if that was said on purpose? To see if you were reliable? Hmm. Were you directly speak with them, or overhearing? No. I was just working. Nobody pays attention to somebody who's doing their work. Mm, I find that very they hard were to talking believe about a openly war forge that's about suddenly stuff. amongst them. Then why were they complaining about all these things? They were complaining about everything that was going on with their own leadership. They were complaining about the robber baron making a plan just so that he would be able to get more control. I think Either I heard mention about a major. Shit, what, where was the rebellion and... I don't know if, I don't know if it and, was a uh, major of the Radads or a major of somebody. Or... I mean, Even the only major by rank I know again is Major Tottenham. I don't know. What are they talking? I'm trying to remember. Take your time. Sorry. You know, I already tell one awesome. detail. I don't want to make anything else worse. I got you. Possibility that the Imperials are orchestrating this? 
and they're using it for their own games, and they'll sabotage their own fucking ship and blame it on the Redons. <clears throat> Wouldn't put it past them. That ship is an entire country's oh, wage for a year. There's a very expensive ploy. Mm. What, what if? Unless it's the small that plan... one in the harbor. Hmm. If it's a small one in the harbor, they could just refloat it and repair it. It's not about doing damage, it's the act. It's the mm. act of treachery. Mm. Oh, you All there needs to be is an attempt to actually to blame. destroy it. <clears throat> Just let me float this past you. Either hmm. take it with a grain of salt or apply it. Doesn't matter. The ship in the harbor is attacked, destroyed, damaged, whatever it may be. The Imperium publicly states and sends out missives to whoever is listening or nearby families inside of Gradia, the Vebects, whoever it may be, notifying them that the Nautis region has fallen <clears throat> into complete chaos um, because of an attempted coup by one of the brothers probably blaming Kovaz the Imperials then land their men secure the province eliminate any resistance by the Radod family attempting to defend itself and the Baron Amem is installed as the eldest and they have the loyal regime that they want now in place they make it look like that it was an attack by Kovaz and that the entire province started falling apart, cannibalizing itself because of his poor leadership and attempted coup. The Imperial comes in, restores order, hands everything over to a Radard, a Gradian. No harm, no foul, right? Well, now they have control over the entire province. And they have say on what happens here. Just my paranoid thought process. Oh, was that a false flag? Is that what it's called? It makes sense. I yeah. was trying to think of those. That's you blame the, the other side or something. The blame to be shifted you elsewhere. convince everyone that they if did. The attack it. happens in general. <clears> There's <throat> nothing can be done about it. If that's the case, why wait? Why not do it as soon as they show up, or in the next couple of days? Maybe they're trying to solidify their relationship with the mem. That's the only thing I could think of. As soon as who shows up. For the Imperials, why, you know, why wait with their ship in the harbor? If that was the plan all along, why not do it within the first couple of days? Because they would want to show that tensions are building. They want to have time to make a show of them trying to appeal to the Baroness of all the good that they do in the province. Um, all the orcs they kill, all the people they help, all the merchants they escort, whatever it may be. Show that there's a baseline of behavior where they are aiding the common people. They're good for Nautis. Mm. They were doing good and around town. In that hospital, that saved many. Oh shit, what so is it that Sanders always says? Our into... goal here is to... ...stabilize and... <sighs> ...assist or something? The development of blah 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 blah? We protect our own. That's what he says. Mm. Soma, you know how many people go through that clinic? They save tons of people every day. And we will continue to do so. Right. We need to put our noises to the grindstone. There's, there's no time to fuck around anymore. <sighs> Whatever's going on up top of that keep, it's going to come to a head real soon unless we can kind of balance things out with what we already know. Speaking of fucking around, I need to speak with you, Vestrin, and Sharik alone. <sighs> I might actually have an in into at least the keep area. I gotta talk to you real quick before you go to bed. I don't think there's anything else we can stay in a group that will be new information. Hmm. Obviously, it goes without saying everything that was said here should stay here. Don't gossip about it with your friends. If you do, someone will slit your throat. I mean that. <laughs> I swear it. What about Morden? I will inform Morden as soon as he wakes. Hmm. Okay, so we stick together and we prepare. Yeah. That's the best thing we can do. Okay. Let's do Have that. a bag packed just in case. Uh, Everyone. Sorry, Torty. Just Sif. in case. Do you want a particular phrase? Welcome to the family. Not that we all know. I'll 
say full sail. That's it. Okay. You hear <laughs> full sail. That's it. Full sail the means to go north. That they're is on the to call us. To meet get at your the stuff. Yes. Full sail means they're on to us and to meet at the cross keys in. Which way Tonight I will go in? over a map uh, the past road. the embassy. She's so right. She goes north Leading. towards the embassy? She's just past the, past the embassy, goes across a bridge. You'll see a cluster a of very ornate bridge. cross keys in. Yeah. You can't miss it. From there, I will spend the rest of tonight going over the Gradian map and find a suitable place for us to hole up. Preferably not the capital. The cross keys in located. If you leave the north gate in town that faces the Imperial Embassy and you go across the ornate bridge, there's a cluster of buildings farther ahead. There's a trade warehouse there and the cross keys in. Yeah, on the right. I don't think there's anything else we can discuss. I need to have a few more conversations before I call them out. Please, have a lovely for the evening, love you. of whatever god you worship, keep this to yourself. I think I'm going to save what we I need will. to save for tomorrow. Mm. If you wanted to head to sleep. Oh. Too much information oh. in one night. Let me get all, this. All of you, be safe, please. <sighs> Especially you. I'll clean up here. You guys have a good night. I have that charcoal for you, but if everything is as it is, it won't matter. Outside of my fort. You're back. Is Mr. Shriek all right? Last I saw he's being arrested. Everyone's fine. What's going on? <clears throat> hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good Have you seen Mr. Soma by any chance? Yeah, he's going back to the clinic. Uh, well, just don't be here by morning. Before... Otherwise, I'll have to start charging you for room and board. Or just like leave now. Right, uh, Mr. Shriek, are you alright? Yeah. I'm going to be. Do you need to... Do you need some... Space? I'll, uh... Bring up some things with him, and then I'll find you and we can go over the map together. I know a little bit about each town. and figure something out. I'll just go to your place and... We'll work on it. Sif's in my place. Do you mind if I just go to the roof or sure. to your room or to the uh, office or Under the roof. I'll, I'll meet you up there. <clears throat> Comfy couch. Here I come. Oh, I can't wait. I love that couch. It's fixed now? Uh, heard a few things back from some of my people. My geography, I admit I've been lapsed in studying like you wanted me to. Astagon. What about Astagon? Is that one of the Tri Kingdoms, or am I getting it confused? You are correct, it is. Right. Well, apparently there's been rebellions happening there. A granary burnt down. I heard. Yeah. But I didn't know what. A granary burnt down? What else? <sighs> I'm trying to remember, but that's all I. I got from that, and a granary burnt down, and just a general rebellion. I've heard 
Whispers of it, but no confirmation. That's huge. Estagon's to the south, right? Estagon is where we will be landing. That is good. Well, it's something at least. Estagon is a desert-like southern province. Gwyn is in the middle, more temperate. And Leodorus to the north goes from mostly temperate to might as well be fucking Haloth. Hmm. Well, we can't really capitalize on it right now, but at least we know that that's something that's happening. Figured I'd let you know. I pray for our Stagonian brothers. I make ground ways that we couldn't. I hope it is not short-lived. <clears throat> and, uh... I learned a little more about this, uh, black cloaked figure. What do you know? Uh, they speak with an old voice. They are well armed, multiple weapons on them. And I believe I know where they're staying, where they're living currently. And where is that? Is it still in the inn? I think he was operating in the inn, but he may be living in, uh... Oh, I'm blanking on the name of the fucking town. It's a s small town along the coast up north, just past the embassy. Uh, north Baleno. That's the one, yeah. Little fishing village. Baleno. I had some people check it out. It yeah. seems like a regular fishing village. It's not overtaken by people pretending to be Imperials that we can see. But it seems they've made themselves comfortable in house there. I figured I'd let you know. So we can figure out how to best capitalize on it. Crunchal. Me too. Because if it's not, it means the news is closing in. Apparently they were asking around uh, in the town here today. Or well, maybe not today, maybe yesterday. Uh, very... They were in the town itself? They were in Nortis, yes. He seemed uh, pretty either angry or desperate when I heard about it. Grabbing people by the scruff... Sound like something he'd do. Mm. I don't know. God, it's been so long. Mm. Every report I've heard Grinshaw is... Grinshaw was a regular man. Mm. He was a regular man. He wasn't a warrior, he wasn't a fighter. He was someone who was a loyal retainer. King Reynolds' son. A steward, if you will. Not a fighter. Not a warrior. I don't know if he'd actually do something like that. Mm. He may be desperate. From all accounts, it seems like he's traveling alone unless other people are held up in that house. I'm not too sure. If you want, I could look further into it, or now that we know where they're staying, we can try not to be working into an ambush. It's less likely, at least. I'll handle it however you want me to. I'm just concerned with the rights and wrongs of it all. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong, it's someone trying to draw me out. Yeah. If I'm right, every moment that passes, I'm shooting myself in the foot. I understand the dilemma. I know it's a bad time to bring it up on top of everything that's happened tonight, but like you said, it's something we can't waste time on. Look 
continue digging. Maybe tail them to the next location, wherever they're going. From the way that you've explained their movements, it seems that they seem to set out to do whatever they're going to do at noon. Mm. Full, complete circle. Actions on if I can confirm it's Crenshaw. Even if it is him, we don't know if he's in someone's pocket, so... I would like to believe that he's a loyal man. Mm. If it turns out that he's compromised, it's entirely possible that he might have someone of more importance present. Do you take my meaning? Mm. Like an old friend. <sighs> well, I can keep my eye out for them. At least I know what they look like. We're not ready for that. No. I'll tell them, <clears throat> see what I can dig up, and if it's confirmed to them. It seems, it seems like they move around at noon and further. Right. So once it hits that time, head to Belano, tell them, find out where they go next, find out why they went there. I'm still hesitant to tell you to make contact. Yeah. Well, we know where he's staying, at least. I'll know where he is for that night if he's only moving around at noon. If it is him, we can figure out what to do that night. Go and confront him. That way, he doesn't know that we know he's there. Get the drop on him, so to speak. I hope it goes according to plan, because if it doesn't, we might be walking into a trap ourselves. Yeah. I'll see what I can dig up. We know a little more. We don't have to go in half-cocked or whatever. The whole thing's fucking half-cocked. Yeah. Let's be honest. We have no resources, no eyes and ears when we need them. Very limited if we do. Right, but it's better than marching down there right now, knocking on this door and saying, Hello. Oh my god, you're actually considering it. We're at that point where I need to either make progress or give up. Yeah. I'm out of time. I'm uh, not getting any younger. We'll have answers tomorrow then. No matter what. Then tomorrow we'll pursue those answers. But please, my son, I beg of you. Be careful. I know that you're smart and cunning. But be careful. Of course. I don't want to be the one that fucked this up. I doubt that you would be. If anything, we're at the point where I have from waiting so long. The day I came here and the day we escaped the Aralandis on the border. I should have just rode them straight somewhere else. Well, at least now we know more about the Imperials than you would have done back then. We have more allies. Maybe not the same amount of manpower, but... We could definitely be in a worse position. Fuck, we could still be in Ireland.
We'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm gonna help Sarah with uh, seeing a good place. If she recommends fucking Black Rock, I'm gonna scream. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Oh, you're still here. I'm so sorry, you totally could have gone to sleep. <laughs> I was gonna be sleeping and everything, and then I was like, maybe he is down there. Or maybe he's not. Are you asleep then? Yeah. Okay, you just 